tea because I need help. <laughs> I can't I can't keep walking around like this. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Sonia K and I'm back with another video. Period. Today is the beginning of our series solo date series one and it is let's say it is wednesday august 9th so if you don't know what the solo date series is then obviously you didn't watch my last video which is okay because you have time to go back and rewatch. but if you don't feel like it i'll give you a little rundown on what this is so last week um I decided to create a solo date jar where every Wednesday I will be pulling from the jar um, depending what's on the depending what is on the stick um, which I have about I want to say about 75 sticks in here full of different things to do for the day um, depending what's on the stick I might pull twice I might pull three times because they're not all fully dates like it's really just things to do with self um, for self to cater to self so I might have something in here like go buy yourself flowers or um, go what else do I have in here that's like not really a date um, I have read the bible stuff that's just something to do alone which anybody can just do on a regular day but i rather make it a little fun and of course it's good for content so this is what we're doing today this is not what i'm going to normally do but today i might have to um depending on what the stick says i might have to put it back and repool because i have a dermatologist appointment to go to at two o'clock and i have a call to be on later on tonight so we have to manage our time with this with this solo date so my mom's five foot and stylish Ooh, <laughs> get a tattoo we're not doing that today <laughs> hold on hold on we're, we're not doing that today i'm sorry y'all i cannot <laughs> i cannot get no tattoo today i don't have time for that okay let's let's pull again that one was a little a little crazy I'll just show TikTok what I pull. <laughs> okay, come on, y'all. Real, they they giving me <laughs> they giving me some crazy ones. I don't have time for some of this stuff. <laughs> okay, seriously, seriously. Go try new products at TJ Maxx. Okay, so I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx today. That's one. So we could pull twice. We could pull twice for this. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this one says buy a new purse. So we already want a TJ Maxx, so we could do all that at TJ Maxx. Cool. So we could pull one more time. Okay, this one says shop at a new store. Um I guess I could just see what's you know what's around tj maxx or whatever or on segan um but yeah these are the sticks of the day so i'm about to get dressed and um then we're gonna we're gonna get started so brb this is the outfit of the day we just have one little black tank some white linen shorts black sandals silver accessories even though my glasses have gold in them but these are my favorite glasses. So, this is the outfit for the day. And we're about to head out. First of all, it is giving that it's about to rain outside. So, I don't know. I checked the weather about four times. And it did not say anything about the rain. So, I'm not sure what, what the clouds are doing right now. But it's definitely giving storm. So, we gonna play that by ear too because I'm not a <laughs> I don't like to drive in the rain so before I just go out in the rain I'm a I'm gonna stay home 
like I said, I do have a dermatologist appointment at 2 o'clock. So, we're really going to try to fit all this in before the appointment. And, um, just, just do it like that. So, let's, let's go. I'm also on, like, a little budgeting thing this month, which is a little difficult with me trying to do solo dates every Wednesday. But, I've, I've, I've also budgeted for these dates. So, everything is going according to plan honestly okay y'all i am pulling up at tj maxx and i'm realizing that they have this new store right by tj maxx called rally house rally house louisiana and it's i guess it's like a store for our like football teams and stuff like that like saints lsu um probably southern but i doubt it they never really have nothing for southern um in these type of stores but it's a new store so it's perfect for the what we're supposed to do today so let me show y'all because i'm about to pass it up so this is the store right here where it says now open hold on y'all see it's called rally house and then tj maxx is literally right next to it so i'm gonna go into tj maxx first and then we're gonna go into rally house and i really don't need a new purse so maybe we'll try to find a new purse for somebody else like maybe i can get my little sister she's been saying that she need a purse for school so i might get her a purse for school um or something like that because me personally i don't need a new purse i have enough new purses and um i mean not enough new purses but i have enough purses like i don't I don't need any more purses in my collection okay I, I actually have to get rid of some purses so um which that reminds me i'm gonna link my depop um down below because i just dropped some um some clothes on there and i need this stuff gone so i did a closet clean out and i'm i'm still not even finished with my closet clean now i have so much more stuff that i need to post on there but i'm only gonna leave the stuff on there for about I don't know 20 20 to 25 days after that i'm just taking everything to goodwill and letting it go because i don't need it hopefully it's not too many people in here because y'all know me i don't like vlogging in front of people <laughs> but i have to learn how to get out of that because i'm a youtuber this is what i do baby okay so we're here and already seeing like some little cute purses that I feel like my sister would like so I'm gonna have to call her and see if she likes any of these this one is cute so this one is like a little this one is cute I don't know how big her purse can be though but this one is cute so I'm gonna put that in the car keep looking my sister is very picky though so that's one thing about her she's super picky so trying to find her something is not gonna be that easy because like i said she's super picky but they have some cute stuff let me put it over here by the pink They have this purse, which I think is cute. Ooh. This purse is cute. It has like little, but I don't like that it has scrolls on it. That gives like bad energy. This one is cute. This is really cute. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
Leah said she needed a place for school. Is she up? Because I'm trying to see if she liked this one. Did she like this one? Yeah. Leah. Leah. Nice. I like this first. Okay, look what I found. It's a Laneige kit to go. Deep cleanser, hydro gel, sleeping mask, sleep some mask. Look how cute. Okay, we're gonna get this. This is so cute. I've also been hearing about this mask to nourish and rejuvenate for sensitive skin. It's an oatmeal mask, but I don't like how these two are different colors. So it makes me feel like I don't know which one is the real one. <laughs> so we're going to leave that there. Milk, hydro, makeup remover. So we got the Laneige. Laneige. I don't really know how to say it, but... We're gonna get this. I've been wanting to try their product, so let's look at the body care because this is my favorite part. I love how they have it color coordinated. But let's see. Brightening facial scrub, foot cream. Ooh, vitamin C, body scrub, brightening citrus for $5.99. I want a good, ooh, coconut and pineapple exfoliating sugar scrub. How much is this? Because I think I'm about to get it. We're going to get this. Coconut and pineapple. Oh, they have honey pot in here? Period. I really want like a good, smell good type of body wash Ooh, what kind is this dr bronner's is the best maybe we'll try dr bronner soap yeah we'll try dr bronner soap what else what else i keep hearing really good things about navia I just don't know for sure. I want to try it though. Should I get the this is body cream? Oh no, I don't want the body cream. I want the one for the skin. Ooh, this is so cute. We got our stuff from TJ Maxx. Now we're gonna go into Rally House and see what's in here. <laughs> really, this solo day is really just about spending unnecessary money. That's what it's giving today. But like I said, I said, oh, they have Southern stuff in here. Okay, period. So yeah, we're gonna go up in here and just see. What's, oh, the start. I'm not gonna 
don't get nothing crazy. Now we do have games coming up. A lot of big games coming up. So they got some cute LSU shirts though. Can't even lie. Oh, let me show y'all though. It's in here. So they got Saint stuff over there. And they do have Southern stuff, which I'm actually shocked about. I have to tell my dad about this place. I might get him a cup or something. But just because gift. some shirts got LSU stuff back there got some raging Cajun up in here okay period but you know LSU side is deep they got Gremlin you know LSU side deep this whole side is LSU <laughs> you know LSU side gonna be deep but let me see cuz I see like a cute Maybe the shoe side forever deep. Okay, like I said, so we do have games coming up, and I'm gonna get these stickers. They like glitter. I think that'll be so cute for the games. So we're gonna get these, and that's gonna be what we're gonna get from out of here because they don't really have any cute shirts or anything like that. All the cute shirts are literally only for LSU, so I'm not surprised though. Look at this. This entire section is LSU. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, that was everything that was on the popsicle sticks for the solo date today. Um, I know y'all probably like, girl, really? That wasn't even no date. But, I don't know. For me, it was like, it's just you doing stuff by yourself alone not really calling a friend to come with you or having somebody ride with you but it's just like you just you doing stuff on your own and this is also helping me um with my i guess you could say vlogging phobia because i'm so like scared to vlog in public so doing things like this is helping me because i have my camera and i kid you not i will leave my camera in the car because i don't want to vlog in public for one i'm i don't like people really looking at me i don't like people like side eye me or asking me any questions i just don't like it so to prevent it i'll just say forget it i'm just not gonna vlog in this store but that's hindering my content i mean not hindering that's messing up my content and messing up me creating content for y'all so it's just like i have to get out of that and this is also helping me with that and also giving me content so it's more i know the name is solo date but it's more to it than just a solo date because i know when people hear date the first thing they think is like oh she's gonna go out to eat by herself she's gonna take herself to the movies you know something like that and i like i said in my previous video i have those things in my jar but um I just have little things too like this was just like something little to do but it still was I still did it on my own no it might not have been quote-unquote a date but I did on my I went and treated myself and I consider it a date I vlogged in the stores I wasn't too scared I was a little scared in TJ Maxx not gonna lie that's why I have my camera so low but I'm working on it and this is what's going to help me you know later down the line so let me just show y'all just to make sure y'all seen everything. So this is the purse that I got for my sister. It's a DK. It's a DKNY purse. A little purse that she could bring to school. You know, the girls, they bring their purses to school. Now, back in the gap, we did not bring our purses to school. Like, some girls had their purses, but they didn't really wear their purses. Like, if they had their purse, it probably was just in a backpack. Like me, I used to keep my purse in my backpack because I hated having a backpack on and a purse. Like, that was just too much. But nowadays, the girls, they keep their backpack and their purse on. They be real cute and prissy, and I love it. So, she just needed a real simple purse, you know, girly, to keep her stuff in while she at school. Then, you know, I got the... the Laneige um mini products so excited about this because i have not tried any of their products and i've been wanting to try them so this is so cute and this was only 15 dollars, and you get all these little mini products in it so that's that um also we got a coconut 
pineapple exfoliating scrub so cute it comes like a little spoon on the side love that so this is infused with essential oils and i i need me a good exfoliant the one i have right now is from target and i feel like it's trash i feel like this is going this is going to do me what i need it to do then we also are trying the dr bronner soap i got the green one um this is the all-in-one green tea so i don't i don't even know <laughs> i just i just got it i don't know what's the difference between all of them i don't know if it's just a smell thing or what but this is the one i got and then out of rally house which if you are in baton rouge local baton rouge area you should go check out rally house um they have all the um all the 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 home schools are in there they got raging cajun they got saints they got um lsu southern gremlin they have all the all the schools in louisiana are in there with different little shirts and y'all know it's like one of them one of them stores that sells merch so i got these little cute stickers they're face stickers and these have glitter on them y'all know i'm a i'm a jaguar okay baby I'm a, I'm a southern girl i love lsu too but i'm a i'm a i'm a southern girl at heart so i had to rep and get some of that because i will be attending some games this year um even though i'm not a student no more i'm still i'm still gaining them <laughs> but i'm hungry and i'm about to take myself out to eat we finna go to texas row house yes it is 11 11 30 in the morning do i care no. <laughs> no i'm so i'm so crazy i don't know what made me think texas Royal house is gonna be open at 11 o'clock in the morning child the people don't open till um what time the people don't open up until three like what was i thinking but anyway we had another broken egg i said i didn't want breakfast but my mind kind of want pancakes now so you know that's what we're finna do. So I got pancakes, eggs, and sausage. It's pretty quiet in here, but it's just a little pack too. Okay, y'all. Thank you. You're welcome. Just came out. <laughs> I'm at my dermatologist appointment, and I'm so low because why? has it started raining why like i have one nothing nothing to protect me so it's like bro okay it's 136 my appointment is for 210 so hopefully it lightens up a little bit so i can run inside because i don't feel like running in rain i have on flip-flops and everything like i kept checking the weather this morning it was no signs of rain Y'all can just see how bad my skin has gotten. And I don't know what's causing it, but you can definitely see it. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on the dermatologist to come in and tell me what's tea. Because I need help. <laughs> I can't I can't keep walking around like this. I'm on my phone right now, so y'all can really see I have no filter or nothing on me. This is just how my skin has been looking. Today, I didn't put anything on it but moisturizer, and it's like super dry, flaky. It's, ugh, I'm, I'm so over it. So I'm just hoping that this man can find something that works for me. So I'll let y'all know an update on how everything went when I get back in my car, but this is just what it's giving right now. This is sad. I'm back from the dermatologist, obviously. And basically, what I have is something called TSW, which is Topical Steroid Withdrawal. Um, my skin is basically withdrawing from a steroid that I used to take back in 20, all the way from 2018 to about 2020. I was taking hydrocortisone for this rash that I used to have on my skin and it basically my skin got addicted to it and um it was a steroid but it's really common like a lot of people take it for like eczema and stuff like that so yeah my skin got addicted to it and 
um it's just going through the withdrawal process of getting off of it so i've been off of hydrocortisone since like since 2021 but we're in 2023 so you would think that my skin is like done withdrawing from it which i thought so too um when i went to a new dermatologist she had prescribed me this new medicine that was supposed to like wean my skin off of the old medicine but come to find out it did not do that it actually just kind of brought it back and made it worse so i <laughs> i just thought my skin was doing better and i was finally done with this whole tsw stuff but <sighs> the man that i just went to basically he put me on to something that is supposed to help me which he said it really could take months my skin might get worse before it gets better and um i don't know y'all i'm just i'm so sick of this i've been dealing with this withdrawal stuff for like two years now um basically i'll get like random flare-ups where my skin does what it's doing right now um, with the flaking, the itching, the dryness, um, but that's all just a part of the withdrawal process. So, um, if you're going to see a dermatologist, okay, or eczema or anything like that, uh, y'all, if it's something that has a steroid, ask them, is this a steroid? Because if so, do not do it. Like, do not do it. I'm telling you, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Because in the long run, you're going to be like, I wish I would have never got on that. They prescribe me a different medicine. I'm really not sure if I'm going to take it. I'm, I'm overtaking all these medications and medicines from these doctors. I'm just feeling like go the natural route and just let it flare up and let it fix itself. Um, because I'm so over all these creams and pills. I'm, I'm over it. So that's just where we're at now. But yeah, this is my life. <laughs> It's about four o'clock, but I have a prayer call to get on around seven, and um, that's just gonna be it for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog off right here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. If you got all the way to the end of the video, drop a orange heart in the comments. Let me know that you're rocking with me for real, for real. I'm so nice, and I'm signing out. Love.